Hello and welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video session, we are going to learn that how J unit is being plugged in with ANT. So first, what is ANT? ANT stands for another neat tool. This tool is being provided by Apache system and this tool is used for XML building. So in this tool, we are actually building the XML files to execute the program. J unit can also be used with ANT. So we can execute program by writing XML codes using J unit. So very first thing we need to know that how the environment setup is being done to plug in the J unit framework to ANT software. So these are the steps for a plug in J unit with ANT. The very first thing is download Apache ANT. For that you need to go to the official website of Apache and download ANT. The next thing is you need to set the environment for ANT. For that you need to set ANT underscore home variable and you need to set the path for its bin in the environment variable of your computer system. Now the next thing is download JUnit archive that you can already download from www.junit.org website. The next thing is you need to create the folder structure for ANT. Now the folder structure is as follows. Whenever you are creating any program, you need to create one main package in which you will be having three folders that is SRC where your class files will be relying. Then you will be having test where your test case will be relying and you will be having a library file where all your libraries like junit.jar and those files will be placed. This all folders will be created under main package and you need to create one XML file using which you are going to execute the test cases of junit. So you will be having one build.xml file and then you need to execute the build.xml file using ant commands. So this is the process of setting up environment for ANT and plug in the J unit framework with ANT software. So this is whole bunch of ANT framework. Now we will be doing it practically and we will see that how actually it works in our system. So let's see how to plug in J unit with Apache ANT framework. For that very first thing you need to do is download Apache ANT. You need to go to the official website. The link is provided over here. On this website, you need to click on this link that is version 1.10.1 and click on this link to download the zip file. Once it is downloaded, we need to go to the download folder to check that whether it is being downloaded or not we have downloaded it successfully so we need to extract this folder over here after the folder is extracted just copy this folder where you want to keep suppose I want to keep it in C drive so just copy and paste the folder in C drive now the next thing you need to do is set an ANT environment variable so you need to set path variable and you need to give location of bean folder of Apache. So again, right click on my computer, click on properties, click on advanced system settings, then click on environment variables. Over here in system variables, you will be having one path variable. Click on that. Again, go to computer, C drive, your Apache folder, and pin folder. So this is the path which you need to copy. At the end of the path variable, type semicolon and paste the path. Now click on OK button. Again click on OK and OK. So you have set the environment for ANT framework. Now we need to check whether the ANT framework is plugged in with JUnit properly or not. So you need to download and set JUnit archive that we have done already. So 
the next step is create the folder structure for a and t so to create the folder structure for a and t go to c drive go to j unit over in j unit workspace i have created one folder that is test j unit with a and t you will be creating three folders that is source folder in which your test cases file will be there test cases java file will be there i will be i am having two files that is message util and test message util message util is a class file which is having one constructor and which is having one message and it test message util i am writing test cases to execute whether the messages are equal or not whether the print message is equal or not and whether the salutation message is equal or not so i am have two test cases and test message util now you need to create one build file actually using build file we are executing our j unit test case the build file is of type xml and it will look like this over here we are providing the source directory we are providing the test directory in which our class path will be there our class file will be there and we are compiling it and we are running the test case to check whether it is perfect or not whether it is passed or not then in library folder you need to copy and paste your j unit jar file so over here j unit jar file is there so you need to paste it over here after that you just need to go to command prompt go to the folder in which your files are relying so it is j unit folder j unit workspace folder and over here you have test with j unit with ant folder in this folder just type ant and your build file will be executed you are having this message your test runs are two it means you have run two test cases your fail number of failures number of errors number of skipped time elapsed if there is a time elapsed in between two test cases and this is the print message that is what uh, we, you are in salutation message and you are in test print message the message have been printed and your build was successful and your test was successful so this is how you run ant and you plug in j unit with ant thank you